mtembeleaje? Nzuri sana. Asante. Nimekutembelea leo. Asante sana. kidogo imepungua huko. Tunajaribu. nchini. Hujambo na karibu katika kipindi chetu cha mwanamke na uongozi na tumai umzima. Leo nimefanya miadi naye katibu mkuu katika huduma za urekebishaji tabia huko nchini Salome Biako. Karibu sana katika kipindi chetu cha mwanamke na uongozi. Kwa manufaa mtazamaji, tuambie Salome Biako ni nani na ni wadhifa gani ambao unaushikilia. Kwa majina naitwa Salome Biako. Salome Mohia Biako na mimi ni katibu mkuu katika idara ya magereza na probation ya yani correctional services katika ministry ya interior and national administration je maisha yako totoni yamekuaje kwa hakika mimi nimetoka Gatundo South e, katika kijiji kinachoitwa Kigongo village na ga, hiyo iko katika kaunti ya Kiambu lakini baada ya kuzaliwa mimi nili ma, wazazi wangu walikuja Nairobi kwa kwenye kitogo, kitongoji kidogo kinachoitwa Kawangware lakini mpaka wa Kawangware mahali panaitwa Riruta na hapo ndipo nililelewa hadi nikawa mtu mzima. Je, safari yako ya masomo ilianzia wapi na imekujenga vipi hasa katika kuingia katika uongozi? Shule yangu ya msingi ilikuwa Riruta Satellite Primary School iko eh, Daguriti South constituency ba, hapo baadaye nilipomaliza standard 8 nikaenda Precious Blood Riruta pale nikafanya miaka yangu minne baadaye hapo nika, nikaitwa katika chuo kikuu cha Nairobi kusomea uwakili yani law na nikafanya miaka yangu minne pale baadaye nikaenda Kenya School of Law na hapo baadaye nikafanya master's degree ni katika hiyo eh, university pia na hapo baadaye nimefanya kosi nyingi za leadership na governance uh, na trial advocacy umenelezia kwa umefanya kozi za uongozi je ni kitu gani ambacho kimekuchochea kuingia katika kazi kama hizi na kusomea kozi hizi za uongozi tangu totoni mimi nilikuwa prefect nilikuwa prefect nikiwa primary school nilikuwa prefect nikiwa high school Uh, na high school nilikuwa prefect kwa miaka min, miwili so nikapendelea sana kuwatumikia wale wengine ku, 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 kufanya kuwa maisha yao is better to improve their welfare na nikapendelea sana that idea of service so nikaonelea heri nikiwa niki, ni miaka ikipita heri nifanye more courses in uh, leadership and and uh, particularly in governance. Je, ulijipata vipi katika wadhifa kama katibu mkuu katika huduma ya kurekebisha tabia? Kwa hakika namshukuru rais sana kwa kunipatia uh, wadhifa huu wa kuwa katibu mkuu kwa idara ya correctional services manake mimi nimependa sana kusavu particularly wale wasiojiweza wale ambao kidogo society inawaangalia na inawashuku na pengine naweza kukwambia kuwa wiki mbili kabla kabla ya kuchaguliwa actually nilikuwa nime visit a prison nilikuwa nime visit a prison on a, a work of mercy so ilikuwa a very pleasant surprise kuchaguliwa two weeks later kuwa msimamizi wa hii idara uongozi wangu kwa hakika ni wa empower mimi like like i said mimi nime 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 focus on leadership and governance na sio leadership and governance yangu peke yangu kwa muhimu ni leadership ku empower wale leaders manake katika correctional services tuna units mbili probation and aftercare na Kenya prison service na hizi units mbili ziko na station stationi ambazo zinaongozwa na officers in charge na hawa officers in charge ni vema nikiwa empower mimi ndio accounting officer na authorized officer hiyo inamaanisha kuwa ni mimi napatiana policy directions ndio waweze kufanya kazi vizuri lazima i empower them i encourage them i go and visit them kwa huu muda uh, uh, rais ameniweka katika hii hu wadhifa nimetembelea zaidi ya magereza 
sabini na zaidi ya probation offices 30 na nimeona ile kazi wanafanya ninaenda pale chini na wa encourage na wa empower na make sure fedha zile wanahitaji kufanyia kazi nimewapatia pia naona vile wanaongoza wenzao that is my leadership approach to empower other leaders hebu tupatie taswira kamili kuhusiana na hali halisi magerezani huko nchini hawa eh, offenders ambao tunawashughulikia mara mingi lazima waende kotini lazima waende hospitali eh, tuna need kwenda kuwanunulia vifaa na hatuna magari ya kutosha pia namshukuru rais kwa sababu ali, aliangazia hayo na akasema ata ata ata, ata, ata ame, ame, ame direct national treasury watupatie hivyo eh, hizo magari hizo hizo ndizo changamoto nyingi tunazo. Je, ni miradi gani ambayo umeanzisha tangu ingie katika wadhifa huu? Correctional service kwa kijumla ni rehab, rehabilitation, reformation and reintegration of offenders. Kwa hivyo tumechukulia maana ni sana workshops. Workshops za 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 useremala, workshops za kujenzi, workshops za plumbing, electrical na pia formal education na tumefanya kazi mingi sana in fact eh, in november kadri ya more than 50 50 inmates and prison of, prison officers wata graduate in law tukiangazia umuhimu ambao tunauchukua tuna, tu, kuhusu education pia tuna, tuna ni, nimeanzisha mikakati na pia ni, ku, ni kuendelesha mikakati ya ku Ku, ku, kusomesha watu in the university na hivi karibuni tutakuwa na our first graduate in medicine tumekuwa na graduates in uh, veterinary medicine na graduates in engineering na a graduate in CPA tumeshirikiana na universities kama Strathmore University na Kenyatta University na Jake Watt kuwasomesha uh, wale wafungwa wetu na pia tumefanya a lot of vocational training in in the carpentry in tailoring in knitting na computers na a lot of vocational training also in bakery kama wakati huu tumeshirikiana na Chandaria Foundation wameanzisha workshops eh, juzi tulifungua workshop in, uh, in, in, in Meru tukafungua ingine Langata tukaanzisha ingine in Kisumu na na ingine eh, eh, Mombasa ina, inamalizika eh, in the next few weeks itamalizika na tutaenda na, na tu, tuna hope eh, first lady ata to join manake yeye amependa hiyo kazi sana kuna karakana pale kutakuwa na computer kuna kuwa, kutakuwa na bakery na kama hii ya langata ambayo ndio ilikuwa ya kwanza kuanzisha tuna train hawa wafungwa ndio waweze kujikimu kimaisha wakitoka pale lakini a difference in these workshops za Chandari ya Foundation ni kuwa wale wakiuza hii mikate ambayo wanakanda wanapata fedha na hizo fedha wanatumia kusomesha watoto wao hata wakiwa hapa gerezani na hiyo inasaidia sana najua unaamini pia mui huwa mwema Je, yeah, ni kitu gani ambacho mnafanya kuhakikisha kuwa jamii inakubali mfungo anapomaliza kifungo chake na kurejea nyumbani? Program ya community service orders na program ya community volunteers probation volunteers. Sasa program ya community service orders tunashirikiana na hata magovernors. Tunashirikiana na na koti ku release hawa watu waende wafanye kazi kule nje. Hivyo wale wale the, the offenders wanakuwa wana serve nini yao kule nje sentence yao kule nje pia community ina benefit manake hawa watu wanaenda wana paint wana safisha markets wana safisha choo wana safisha eh, mabarabara pia community ina benefit lakini katika upande wa community volunteers program community probation volunteers program tunashirikiana na na leaders community leaders ndio waweze kuongea na wale relatives na community waweze kukubali hao watu na hivyo basi tunahimiza society give them a second chance
give them a second chance usi dua dismiss ati ukiona ukiona mtu ametoka pale amemaliza kifungo chake una assume atarudia hata hatarudia manake tumewa train unajua wakikaa pale wengi wao wanakaa zaidi ya miaka ya, ya miezi sita na miezi sita kwenda juu ni enough time ya sisi kuwaongelesha vizuri kuwa rehabilitate ndio wakwe reformed kuna pendekezo ambalo lilikuwa limetolewa la iwapo mfungo angependa kutembelea mpendwa wake ama mazishi je utazungumziaje kuhusiana na pendekezo hilo tangu covid 19 watu hawakuwa wanatembelewa lakini baada ya covid 19 na wakati nili, nilichukua eh, hu, hili jukumu la, la ku oversight hii correctional services tulianza hayo matembezi kwa mtu anaweza tembelewa na, na wapendwa wake na hiyo tunaendeleza kuhusu hayo mengine hayo mambo ya kokotini bado so tunangojea uamuzi wa koti ya juu vile uta, itaendelea ndio tuweze kuona vile tuta, tutafanya. Umeelezea kwa kuna programu nyingi ambazo umekuwa ukizifanya. Je, ni changamoto zipi ambazo umekumbana nazo na umekabiliana nazo vipi? Na changamoto ni za ku, ku implement hizi programs ambazo tuko nazo bila fedha. Hiyo ndio changamoto nyingi sana. Mna, kila mtu anaelewa kuwa to, we, are, we are in a very tight fiscal space na hivyo basi zile programu ambazo tungependa ku, ku cover all our offenders manake we all have over 60 60000 offenders ambao wako ndani na wale ambao wanatumikia vifungo vya nje they are over about 55000 sasa zile fedha za ku make sure programs za rehabilitation zinafanywa kidogo hivyo hiyo inaleta changamoto na shida. Na tumekuwa tukiona baadhi ya wafungwa wakipata msamaha kutoka kwa rais. Je, ni kitu gani ambacho wakinafuatwa na ni utaratibu upi ambao unaafikiwa kabla mfungwa kusamehewa? Wakati mfungwa anataka kusamehewa, siku hizi tumeenda online. Kuna mtu ana application online, hiyo application inaenda mbele ya committee ambayo it is it is presided in the office of the president inaitwa power of mercy committee wakati power of mercy committee wanashika hiyo application wanaileta kwetu probation officers wanaenda wana interview huyu mfungwa wanafanya background check ya huyu mfungwa wana kwa chief kwa wale kwa community leaders kwa relatives wake kwa victim pia alafu wana prepare report waki prepare report wana wana forward report kwa hiyo committee hiyo committee inaketi chini inajadiliana inakubaliana nani anastahili kupewa hiyo 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 power of mercy na nani hastahili baadaye wakikubaliana nani anastahili wana forward yale majina kwa his excellency the president na once e, in good time and in the appropriate time the president ndiye ana decide nani anastahili na nani ataachiliwa na umeniambia kwa una majukumu mengi ambayo umekuwa kiafanya hapa kama katibu mkuu je unasawazisha vipi familia yako na kazi ni kazi yangu kushughulikia mzee to make sure he is well dressed that he goes to work that he feeds well the same with the children manake wako shuleni na even to do little things like to decide how the house will look like uh, how I'll decorate the house how the menu in the house will be prepared for the whole week watakula nini wataka kivipi so and i think it is important as women we always remember that besides the work there is always family and at the end of this whole journey of career we go back to our families na one of my heroes my heroes that i really appreciate eh, eh, professor M M M professor mugenda aliyekuwa chancellor vice chancellor wa kenyatta university na pia uh, madam ellen johnson salif aliyekuwa president wa, wa liberia na na matha na na, na wangari mathai eh, hao wawili walipata eh, nobel peace prize wale wa, wale wanawake watatu walijivunia sana familia zao familia zao na ungeona wana they spend a lot of time with their families na hiyo ni something i always say as women you don't leave your femininity aside to come to this space merely be, because it is male dominated you don't leave your womanhood you don't leave your 
femininity, you don't leave your motherhood, you combine. Kuna quick fire session ambayo tuko nayo katika jukwaa letu la mwanamke na uongozi. Je, ni chakula gani ambacho unapenda? Mimi napenda githeri. Nikikupatia smoky pasua, maye pasua ni gani unachagua na ni kwa nini? Maye pasua. <laughs> <laughs> ni aina gani ya mavazi ambayo unapenda kuvaa? Uh, smart casual. Kuna kasumba kuwa wanawake ambao wamenyolewa ni wife material. Je, ni kitu gani ambacho kilikusukuma kuanza kunywa nyere na sio kuvaa mawigi kama wenzako? Eh, I'm too lazy to go to the salon. <laughs> <laughs> Ukiwa uko kazini, uko nyumbani, ume relax, ni kitu gani ambacho unapenda kufanya? Kusoma. Kusoma vitabu gani ama ni eh, biographies. Hapana, <laughs> mimi mimi ni mtu wa biographies <laughs> na history. Uh-huh. Mimi napenda history sana. Uh-huh. Eh, historical biographies the world history na politics. Je, ni mahali gani ambapo unasema huu mwaka lazima niende kabla mwaka ujaisha? Ah, mali mi, uh, pengine animenda mali pengi. Eh, sijui. Sijui. <laughs> Hakuna mali nafikiria lazima niende before huu mwaka ujaisha. Hakuna already nishaenda. Kwa mbaki at least Singapore na nimeenda. <laughs> okay. Eh, nimeenda. Je, unapenda nyimbo gani? Mimi napenda blues. Mimi ni mtu wa blues. Hey. Eh. <laughs> Hatupatie neno lako la mwisho kwa kina mama na wasichana ambao wanakutazama hivi sasa kuhusiana na nafasi ya uongozi na ni kitu gani ambacho wanapaswa kufanya ili kukumbatia uongozi. Desire to leave a legacy. Let people say this place is better because she passed by. Because she passed by this place is better. Then finally be willing to lead be willing to lead what does that mean it means to empower those under you it means to help them be better do more go further go faster and also leave a legacy in their own small spaces shukran sana katibu mkuu katika huduma za urekebishaji tabia mu nchini salama bibi yako kwa kutenga muda wako na kuzungumza nasi katika jukwaa letu la mwanamke na uongozi na mpenzi mtazamaji natumai mpate mawili matatu kutoka na yale yote ambayo tumezungumza naye salome na kile ambacho kimejitokeza katika mjadala wetu sikio ni kuwa pindi unapoamua kuingia katika uongozi usiingie katika uongozi kutafuta pesa basi bali ingia katika uongozi kutumikia mwananchi ama yule ambayo unamfanyia Shukran za dhati kwa kutenga muda wako hadi wakati mwingine kwa heri. Jina langu ni Maria Mjahid.